please stand for our invocation. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we pause this morning to ask for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A school staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. God, help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. Commander Pomeroy, <coughs> Chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Machinist Mate Class 2230 and Electronic Technicians Class 2220. Today is a special day for these sailors as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Cameron Park, California and joined the Navy in 2013. After completing Nuclear Field A School Power School here in Goose Creek, South Carolina, he went to Nuclear Prototype Training Unit in Ballston Spa, New York. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, or deployed to Yokosuka, Japan. During his time on board, he supported four deployments and four availabilities where he served as an assistant zone manager, contributing to the on-time completion of work and redeployment of CBN-76. During this time, he was chosen as a second-class petty officer to qualify for Pulsion Plant Watch Supervisor, a watch usually reserved for a senior first-class officer petty officers and chiefs. In January 2020, he reported here to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, where he was assigned as an instructor in basic electricity and taught five classes before being chosen to be a section leading petty officer. Most recently, he was recognized as the Nuclear Field A School Sailor of the Quarter and continues to be an example for the entire command. It is my pleasure to introduce Electrician's Mate First Class Surface and Air Warfare, Corey Danielson. Thank you, Bishop Matillas, for the introduction. Uh, good morning, friends, families who are here, distinguished grads, chaplain, Commander Palmore, uh, and last but not least, always the graduates who are the main reason we are here today. Uh, looking out today, it is great to see so many friends and families who have been able to make it here uh, for their graduation. Uh, with that being said, I know that there's also many friends and families who are not able to make it here today uh, as well. Um, know that the support that you uh, have and that you have given so far uh, is what's driven and made these uh, sailors here successful today. I ask that you continue that support and you help them out as they continue through finishing this pipeline and even further into the fleet when they're operating the waters around the world. Uh, support can come in many different ways uh, as well, uh, all different forms and fashions. Uh, I've sent a little item as a phone call or a package for me. My favorite was always my mom's cookies. I should send them out. Uh, we worked out a little on how to make it work flying out to Japan and them still being good, uh, but made it through. Uh, but I know we all have something a little bit different that makes that connection and helps us get through uh, as we have our time. As a sailor, I've noticed over time that we get asked one question overall more than most. And that really comes down to why did you join the Navy? What brought you here into this path? Uh, looking back at my career when I first started, I had many reasons to pick this and continue with it. Uh, for me, the one that stands out the most was really just to see the world. I grew up in a small town, and that's where I was for over 20 years of my life, and I wanted to see something different. Uh, I still remember when I was talking to my Uncle Lou, uh, to this day, over 10 years now later, uh, when I told him that answer, and he looked at me directly in the eyes and told me, you do realize that 70% of the world is water, and that is what you will see. All right, fair point. Uh, now, with that being said, in my time in, I've never seen a better sunset across the sea or, sty or stars in the sky at night on board a carrier. Uh, submariners kind of miss out on that a little bit. Uh, but overall, it's been a great experience to see that and travel with it. As my career, career has progressed, though, and time has passed, I find that uh, that's not what has kept me in the Navy to continue with my path here. It has not been the countries that I've had the privilege to see, nor the rewarding fact that I'm a part of a team that operates more reactors than any country in the world. 
and that is actually does include the United States. Uh, the real factor that keeps me going is the friends that I've gotten to experience it with uh, all along the way. The great thing is that the Navy will introduce you to colleagues, and those colleagues will become friends. And those friends will then actually become family, just like anybody else in your actual family. Uh, this career is unlike any other in that form that it does bring you so close to people that you never thought you would know, uh, me being from a California born and raised. Uh, becoming friends with people from Kansas, Texas, areas that I've never actually been to before uh, I joined the Navy. Uh, so I say to you graduates, uh, welcome to the Nuclear Navy family. All right? You've only made the first step in a long journey, but it is an important step to have made. All right? So understand that you have more to come, but you have made the first big step, and congratulations to that. Stay motivated and eager to learn, and in no time at all, we'll see you again in the fleet. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these greeting, or presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me, and reposing a special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy. As such, from the 22nd day of July, 2022. Your appointment as Petty Officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the, United States, or to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as an inevitable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel, to guide others, with, uh, must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity. Attention to duty and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness of the good, and good name of the United States Navy. Family, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Please be seated. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom. We call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduates are machinist mate, third class, Sean Chang, and electronic technician, third class, Connor McLaughlin. Honor graduates, front and center. Left, face. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Pomeroy and Senior Chief Ragus. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, Third Class, Sean Chang, an Electronic Technician, Third Class, Connor McLaughlin. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among the graduates from your class at Nuclear Field Day School, Charleston. Your standing as number one reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of United States Naval Service. Best wishes, signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2230 Alpha, machinist mate first class, Casey Dijon. Thank you. Good morning, Commander Pomeroy, Chaplain, fellow staff members, family and friends, and most importantly, the graduates. Second, a big thanks to you and all the family 
friends, mentors, shipmates, and anyone else who has supported these graduates through their important milestone. Our former president, Harry S. Truman, once said, America was built on courage, on imagination, and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. These graduates for you today have certainly shown this unbeatable determination to complete the job at hand that our former president was talking about by successfully completing nuclear drill A school. This is a major milestone on your path to become a nuclear operator on a warship in the world's greatest navy. You will all support America's mission to maintaining maritime superiority, bringing peace to all oceans of the world, and providing a presence to those in need. You all have been through much together in A school, and you perform admirably. The road in front of you will be much uh, more difficult times. It is in these times that you will grow and become stronger as a man, as a woman, as a spouse, as a parent, and as a sailor. Through this growth, you will be driving towards the Navy, ensuring the future, success in the Navy, and America. Now for three pieces of advice I've learned that I have for you moving forward in your naval career. One, take advantage of the Navy and everything it offers. Two, find your place as soon as possible and make it your own. Three, and last, but definitely not least, find a role that has your, uh, that has your same values and have them guide you to be successful. Find a role model, excuse me. Once again, I congratulate you and look forward to your future successes. Now, without further ado, now presenting the class, 2022, or 2020, 30 out there. Please. Machinist mate, third class, Gabriel Baker. Machinist mate, third class, James Barnes. Thank you. Machinist mate, third class, Austin Cargill. Machinist mate, third class, Nicholas De Federico. Machinist mate, third class, Chad Hawley. Machinist mate, third class, Basim Kayali. Machinist mate, third class, Tate Lund. Machinist mate, third class, Justin Nixon. Machinist mate, third class, Seth Peterson. Machinist mate, third class, McKinley Rowan. Machinist mate, third class, Connor Ross. Machinist mate, third class, Stuart Taylor. Machinist mate, third class, Hunter Thornton. Machinist mate, third class, Jacob Wade. Graduating with distinction, machinist mate, third class, Chad Bruner. Machinist mate, third class, Ferris France. Machinist mate, third class, Benjamin Hunick. Machinist mate, third class, Gordon Holmes. Machinist mate, third class, Caden Malloy. Machinist mate, third class, Max Montgomery. Machinist mate, third class, Clayton Nunez. Machinist mate, third class, Zachary Palmer. Machinist mate, third class, Nicole Powles. Machinist mate, third class, Gavin Rainey. Machinist mate, third class, Noah Smith. Machinist mate, third class, Varun Suntorniamkit. Now, graduating with honors, machinist mate, third class, Christian Castaneda. Machinist mate, third class, Sean Chang. Machinist mate, 
Machinist Mate Third Class, Sean Hange. Machinist Mate Third Class, Eunice Tiangi. Machinist Mate Third Class, Derek Michelson. Machinist Mate Third Class, Joseph Witten. Specifically the day where you look back at the last six months and take stock of everything that you've been through. I want each and every one of you to look at yourselves now and then look at who you were when you moved on from NDOC those six months ago. The experience of A School is one that I guarantee has shaped you into a harder worker, a better sailor, and a more mature adult, even if you don't necessarily feel that way right now. I promise that the fleet actually does exist and that you've just completed the first step of getting there. For the past few months, you've been asked to perform at a higher level than you've ever previously been challenged to in your life. And every single thing that you've done here indeed does have a purpose to prepare you for that far off mystical flu. All the blood, sweat, many tears you spent studying in this building is in preparation for the rigorous process of qualifying reactor operator. All the labs you did and the troubleshooting you had to learn was preparation for one day being part of a vision which owns the equipment that keeps our reactors safe and our ships to sea. What I really want from you guys now is to look at yourselves from my perspective. Look at yourself from my job. Right? And my job is something that I take very seriously. I take great pride in doing it. It's ensuring that I guide you through your initial process in the Naval Nuclear Power Program. Right? When I go home every night, I ask myself, have I done my job for this class? Have I done everything that I need to do to ensure they are ready to move on to go try to qualify and become a reactor operator. And with you, 2220 Tango, I believe yes. And I am sure that there are future engineering watch supervisors, RC division LCPOs, chiefs, EDMCs, and master chiefs, and all of you are going to go out and do something awesome in the fleet. But now it's time to take some time off. But when you get back to power school, hit the ground running. Use what you've learned in this building, that way on the other side of the rickover, you can succeed just as well. And if you remember nothing else from our time together, remember to show up to work on time, to do your job, and to look good while you're doing it. All right. With that, I proudly present Class 2220 Tango. Left face. Electronics Technician, third class, Luke Ballou. Technician, third class, Jacob Phillips. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Jackson Schwartz. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Luke Schultz. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Aaron Stecklow. Now graduating with distinction, Electronics Technician, third class, Diego Alcantar. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Lucas Kepke. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Benjamin Martin. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Joseph Pickett. Technician, third class, Aaron Spees. <laughs> now graduating with honors. Electronic Technician, third class, Carl Woolsby. <laughs> Electronic Technician, third class, Joshua Polan. <laughs> Electronic 
Electronics Technician, third class, Connor McLaughlin. Electronics Technician, third class, Zachary Rosencrantz. of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed their training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers are the consistency of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example they set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, and when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Machinist mate, third class, Zachary Palmer, and electronic technician, third class, Aaron Spees. by Commander Pomeroy and Senior Chief Plyler. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Mate, Third Class, Zachary Palmer, and Electronic Technician, Third Class, Aaron Spees. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart from peers by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your impressive dedication to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with our Navy core values and warrants your selection and recognition today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. My staff and I are proud of your demonstrated effort, leadership, and outstanding results. The character and professionalism that has earned you this recognition will serve you well in your follow-on training, and I am confident you will succeed here and in the fleet. Congratulations and well done. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. Director of Nuclear Field Day School, Commander Palmeroy. All right, uh, good morning, everyone. So that, that last award, it was really, uh, it's always, every week we do that, we give that last award. It's a surprise to the sailors that receive it. And uh, I saw a lot of faces on the mechanics in the front were like, you know, they were really, they, it was a surprise to them as well. So uh, great job, and I uh, just love that. So Fridays are always uh, my favorite day of the week, and not because tomorrow is Saturday and the weekend's coming, but we get to celebrate the, these sailors' accomplishments every week at A school graduation. I know you saw some of the traffic coming in here today for the families and friends, so today is an extra special day at NMPTC at the command, and we're having a power school graduation uh, today for the folks that are graduating and getting ready to go down to prototype. So for the family and friends, in about six or about nine months from now, I think they class up in September, so sometime in March of next year, uh, we'd love to see you back here and see the graduation out there. It's a really, a really cool event out there as well. So, so I'll, I'd be remiss if I didn't to reiterate a few things that the, uh, SL, the section lead petty officers and the, and the guest speakers spoke about. So first thing to the family and friends, thanks for your support to this point. I know traveling is not, uh, not the easiest right now with the way things are, but thanks for being here today and for the folks that are gonna watch this later on, thank you for your support. I've been in the Navy for 34 years, a long time, and I still reach back to my family every week, and they reach out to me, so that support for family uh, throughout that time, when your sailors are sailing in harm's way around the world, uh, they'll need that support, so thank you. To the staff, once again, thanks for all you do, developing these sailors. For the families, you don't re uh, realize this, but every one of these sailors today is graduating as a petty officer third class. That's a huge accomplishment, so congratulations for that, for the staff for getting them there. 
and, for, and the uh, fundamental rate training that you gave these sailors, so thank you. And to the uh, graduates, I told you yesterday that this discussion, we spent a lot of time yesterday together to talk about those character development traits, Washington principles and all that. You all uh, embrace those throughout your time at A school. You're going to need those when you're back home, right? You're the face of the Navy back home, whether you're going on leave today or just Liberty, uh, but you will for the mechanics if you're going on leave in August. Uh, remember those, right? I look forward to your support or your success at Nuclear Power School. Uh, great job. Enjoy your Liberty this weekend. I think it's a beautiful day today, and uh, you should have a great weekend. Safe travels where you're going. I look forward to your return, and uh, congratulations. Job well done. Thank you. the benediction. Gracious God, we thank you again for this time that you have given us to honor and celebrate these graduates. We pray that they will go to their next phase with a sense of pride and confidence, ready to face what lies before them. Bless them now, God, always providing them guidance, safety, and protection. May they strive toward excellence in all that they do. May they go now with the knowledge that they have your fullest and most profound blessings. In your holy name we pray. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on. <laughs>